In this video we're gonna set it up for multiplayer so every player has their own progress bar with their own day. In order to make this work every player needs to have their own cinematic sequence device and their own HUD message device. For the cinematic sequence device you set it to instigator only and the HUD message device to triggering player. In the first video we just had the current day variable cinematic sequence device and the HUD message device but in multiplayer we're gonna create a uh, player HUD class so we can store a specific HUD message device cinematic device inside we're also gonna use arrays to store all of our devices all right now the fun begins we're gonna create a player HUD class and we store some specifics inside so we're referencing the day progress bar uh, creative device we're gonna Want the player reference, the HUD, a specific HUD message device and a specific cinematic sequence device. And we're going to get our current day variable inside of here. And we move a lot of code in this um, player HUD class. For example, start first day is here. Uh, one thing we need to do in multiplayer is to do this code line of this line here specifically show to this player. And we're going to trigger the cinematic sequence to the specific player and we're gonna spawn our handle day end so with instigator only we're gonna manually stop a sequence we're gonna loop through frames and when it hits frame 190 we're gonna continue the code so when it's not the final day we're gonna stop the current uh, playing sequence and we're gonna add plus one on the day and we're gonna set the day again uh, show to the player we sleep a little bit to restart uh, the sequence again then we're gonna re-trigger this whole function and we break the current one in our creative device we're gonna store all of our cinematic sequence devices inside an array and the same for the hot message devices additionally we create this uh, map for the player huts we're gonna open them up later so on begin we are collecting all of our players and we're gonna loop through them so we can get a specific number so player one gets index zero player two gets index one etc and we're gonna use this index to open up our arrays so now we have access to specific devices and we're gonna store them in this new created player huts so we create a new player hud with these references we want the player for example here we want this specific hot message device and the cinematic sequence device we store them in the new player hut and we uh, save it into our player hut map then we spawn this await first day just like the first video and in multiplayer we want to know who is pushing a button for example so we get the agent like this and we use that as a key to unlock, open up the player HUD map. So we get the player HUD and we're going to start the first day. So as an extra, we can award a player, for example, when he is, hits the final day. That's why we want to reference the creative device in this player HUD class. So when it is the final day, we're going to award it by doing this. Award the player and it triggers the function. And the last step is to fill in the arrays here. Here we have it again, uh, if one player triggers it and then the other one and they all, all have their own progress bar and their own uh, days. Uh, so I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.